So my name's uh, Rob Erskine. I'm a lecturer in uh, Sport and Exercise Nutrition in the School of Sport and Exercise Sciences at uh, Liverpool John Moores University. The research in our group uh, largely focuses on the adaptation of skeletal muscle and tendon to uh, exercise, disuse and ageing. The fantastic facilities that we have at Liverpool John Moores University, specifically in the uh, Research Institute for Sport and Exercise Sciences, enable us to research or investigate those adaptations in muscle and tendon from the whole tissue, so from the whole muscle and tendon right down to the gene. We use a, a large variety, a wide variety of uh, techniques and equipment uh, in our research group. Um, typically here uh, in this lab we have uh, isokinetic dynamometry and ultrasound. Uh, this is so that we can measure muscle size and architecture, so the structure of the muscle and the stiffness of the tendon. And this is particularly important if we're looking at differences between populations. So for example, uh, between uh, young and older people. Uh, and also to measure the efficacy of uh, training, exercise training uh, programs, such as resistance training. We can measure how uh, big the muscle has become and how strong the muscle has become. From previous work, um, we, uh, we looked at why some people didn't seem to respond to uh, certain types of training and others did and we know that um, some people for example they can increase their strength after two or three months of resistance training by as much as 60 percent whereas other people just don't respond at all which seems bizarre seeing as all, all subjects were training at exactly the same relative intensity and all were supervised during the training so um, we looked into the reasons why um, and we found that certain genetic variations were uh, associated with the response to uh, resistance training um, and we were able to investigate which genotypes were associated with muscle size, strength and power, uh, which is important for understanding why or how muscle can adapt to exercise training and also how it adapts, how, how it becomes weaker and smaller with aging. One of the uh, main research uh, interests in our group is uh, looking at nutritional strategies to optimize the effects of specific exercise interventions, whether it be resistance or endurance exercise. For example, one of the things that we've looked at in the past is uh, the effect of protein supplementation on um, muscle size uh, and, and strength gains with resistance training. And this is particularly uh, important when we're, we're thinking of older people. We know that older muscle uh, gets weaker and smaller um, and resistance training uh, with, with the optimum amount of, of protein uh, in the diet could be used to um, uh, induce muscle um, growth and uh, maintain muscle mass with aging. Typically we take a blood sample or, or a, a saliva sample, so it only needs to be a very small sample, um, and we extract the DNA from the cells within that sample. We then use uh, state-of-the-art uh, facilities here at uh, LJMU, uh, for example real-time polymerase chain reaction or PCR, to genotype our individual participants for specific uh, gene variations and then we look to see which genotype is associated with a greater or a, a lesser uh, response to for example endurance training or, or resistance training. We work very closely uh, with uh, some of the the best sporting institutions in the country. We're very lucky to have uh, those uh, sporting institutions on our, on our doorstep. Uh, so we've got very strong links with those uh, sport, those clubs, and um, <clears throat> we're able to. Well, the idea, at least, is we, we we can translate our findings in the lab, so the very controlled uh, conditions, into the real world. Whether that be in elite football or rugby or hockey or netball, whatever. Uh, so that is the aim and that is uh, one of the, the biggest strengths of Liverpool John Moores and uh, the Sports Science uh, School is that we have those links with, with the, um, the, some of the best sports clubs in, in the country.